external voyage yes. okay the voyages happen also within mm -hmm. isn't it yes, yes. Yes, yeah yes. so do you want to listen to some of them of oh, course yes okay course. before i forget uh, i have to show you something you know the organizers or the person who conceived the idea mm -hmm. was a person called ulf and strom and max i met yes. max once for uh, lunch uh, at sweden and oh i love the swedish um anyway and ulf is a great friend of mine so when i met him in sweden you know we had long conversations and he's very interested in indian culture diwali and everything so wait you know what he gave me this book as a gift and this is a very famous very famous uh, story in uh, sweden and you can see that uh, you know he signed it Wow. November 8, 2011. So I'm very grateful to Ulf because by conceiving this idea, he's getting storytellers from around the world oh, wow. together. That's Isn't awesome. that great? Yes. Okay. Now this is a story. Uh, do you want to sit down? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. yes. Come, come. Yes. Let's sit down. If you want to listen to the story, let's sit down. Okay. Uh, so Rohini and and Padma. Yeah. So. uh this story is about this can you see a cat over here yes yeah this yes. cat so <laughs> she always wants my attention oh my god when who is she do you know what can you see who this is oh my god okay i know i know okay calm down calm down calm down calm down calm down right yeah yes. okay 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 i i know i'm going to tell about you she always wants to be first you know like kids so it was 2003 almost you know we started kataria in 1998 but i i started traveling my mother always says uh, on call the chakra that is i have you know leaves on my feet. foot maybe it's true okay <laughs> so uh so this is uh i call her uh my favorite a wonderful sweet which can which is be sweet well she is because i tell you the person who gave it to me so all the gifts over here anything that you see in katalia anything you touch has a story wow wow, wow. how many people come for the courses you know and but they don't ask a question why Man, how did you get? Very few people ask. You should ask questions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you have a story for everything, yes, yes. and that's what voyages are all about. Yes, yes. Ma'am, yes. ma please so, tell those stories now. Yeah. So, oh my God. Okay, okay. I know, I know. I have a tendency to talk a lot because I'm a storyteller. Okay, 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 okay. Now, uh, it was a friend of mine, Alamelu, who was also a storyteller. Both of us decided to go and visit uh, New York. You, I remember you telling, telling us story. Ah, yes. yeah. So you know this was in two thousand three. So the, we had to pass through one of the ports, like so. We we went through Switzerland, okay. And in Switzerland, we had a very good friend called Lucas. Mm -hmm. Now how we met him is another story. So don't ask me that. Okay. So that when you come sometime for the ports, I'll tell you. So when we went down the streets of Bern, you know we saw a lot of strange looking faces, like. And they were like, oh, yeah, oh, all that, okay. And I said, oh, this looks like a story land. So both of us said, let's get it. And he said, yeah, we're going to find Mars, we're going to find puppets, we're going to find Mommy. everything, right? And we enter, and it was a saloon. Ah. <laughs> and you know, we were so dumb because there were all these masks actually outside. Okay. At that time, I didn't know that. So then I entered, and I said, ah. 
little at the wrong place. And Armelia said, Baba, pola, pola. And that was an old lady, literally, with a hat on her head. And she said, are you from India? And I said, yes. She said, who are you, Pat? What do you come here to go around to see the titlis? Because everyone comes for yeah, that. Titlis. We said, oh, maybe. But we come more for people, you know, we are storytellers. Storytellers? Oh, I'm just moving from my house where I've lived in for 40 years. I have so many things and I have something special. Do you want, do you want that? Can you come home? It looks like it'll be very useful for you. And I love her. And you can guess what it was. We climbed on top of a little hill. And it's very strange for a person in Europe, especially in Switzerland, yes. to be so friendly. Huh? And a frail looking woman. And she went in. Her house was all, you know, completely upside down. And there was. Wow! <laughs> and she was laughing and I'm scared. I said, oh my God, what is this? Because you see, I'm conditioned to think that witches are bad. Yeah, I know, ma'am. She said, she's come down to us from generations. Why don't you just take her? Will you take care of her? She's an old woman, you know. It's so sweet of her, ma'am. Very Just sweet of her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And a big heart. A so big different. heart. Yes. And I know, very strangely, I now recall, most of the time I land, land up in people's houses when they are actually moving from that place. Uh, and I always oh, get something. something. I also got a book that way the first time. But that's another story. So, oh, no, yeah. I have a tendency <laughs> to tell too many stories. Okay, so that's where she got the gift. Now, how do we carry it? Isn't it? So we had this huge witch with us and the first thing we did is we are not going to be laughing. Okay? <laughs> so we found everybody. out where she has a battle and we said you'll have to okay. be quiet for a while. Yeah? <laughs> and we didn't have time. And then we landed in Washington and then New Jersey and finally in New Jersey went to the post office, found a huge carton box for her. And in those days there was shipping. Mm -hmm. yes. So we said let's ship her. And maybe she'll land later, yeah? But then she did land. And here she is to entertain all the children. To all entertain the way from all Cicero. from Switzerland. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> and she's been in Catalia ever since. And she's been entertaining people. And you know, some children, very little kids are scared, but not everyone. Man, have you named her something? Yeah, yeah that's one thing. Huh? Maybe, you know, we should ask the people who are listening to her. Story, story right now yeah. to give a beautiful name. Yeah. What do you say? Yes. yes. Yeah. That let's throw like it open idea. and yes. let's sure. choose and let's acknowledge the person who's given her a name. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah? That's sure. a good sure. idea. Yeah. 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 That was a cool idea. Yes. So where are we now? We are in Catalia, right? right? right yes. And we are in Catalia to listen to stories. Stories, oh, yeah. stories on voyages. Yes. Voyages. Voyages. Yes. And so ah. Uh, a lot of voyages after that. And I went to, okay, so this is from Istanbul, yeah. which my latest one. And you know, people are so affectionate and they give you something so beautiful. So they gave me this as a gift and it's their symbol. If you see a horseshoe, it's ah. luck. And this is for Drishti that they say, okay. the peacock. And this has a story, but I'm not going to every story. Mm -hmm. That's difficult, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but the person who gave me this gift, from, from whom I received, she's no more. Oh. And Alamelu, who traveled with me, who mm -hmm. backed okay. this witch with me, mm -hmm. is no more. Mm -hmm. So what do we, these stories remind you of? These mm -hmm. objects, they may be objects, mm -hmm. but every time I see her, I'm reminded of those two beautiful people. Yeah. Just like this, can you see? I love that. Very cute, no? Yeah, yeah. very cute. And they say, he's like the Misha. You, can you see? The two different colors, yeah. and, yes. and you know, can you see in her eyes, in his eyes? Why am I seeing his heart? Why am I getting so gender mixed up? Because it's both. Because it's like the Adhanari Shura. Ah, and interesting. The, and the person has, it's not only outside, mm -hmm. but within. So aren't we both a man and a woman yes. inside? Yes. Aren't yes. we full of emotions? And that's yes. what storytellers are, isn't yeah. it? Yes. So here. She's smiling, but she has a sadness. Yeah. He, 
is full of laughter, but he's also having a sadness with it. And that's reflected, and it's a clown. And the person who gave me this puppet, his name is Alf Morwitz. Okay? And he's from the Buratino Puppet Theatre, whom I met in Sweden. Okay. Now, okay! I know, but you'll have to give me some chance, okay? You can't go on screaming like this. This person, okay? So, he, I found him, he has a puppet theatre, he's originally from Russia, but he was in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, he wanted to travel to India. A lot of storytellers, I'm quite proud to say. Yes. For the first time, I brought them to India. When he came here, mm -hmm. he said, I'm going to give you a gift, and that's the gift oh. he gave me. And he said, it will remind you that man is full of different emotions. And it's not only the storyteller from outside, but the storyteller from within. And that's what we all are, including me. Ma'am, every object, every story has some value and bondage. Yes. That's what makes it special. And another speciality is, for the first time, his daughter mm -hmm. participated in the Buratino Puppet Theatre with her father. Mm -hmm. The father is no more, but he's left behind the legend. Mm -hmm. And she's continuing the Puppet Theatre. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. So you see, everything has a story. And this was again in Sweden, mm -hmm. when I traveled, we were on a contract to Sweden. One of the most beautiful journeys, I would say. But you know what, here, yeah. uh, it, it's a little baby. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yes. It's a baby. So cute. It is so cute, isn't yes. it? Yes. And I bet you don't know from where it is. Mm -hmm. uh, from Africa? Ha! I know uh -huh. you would say that. But it's not. Ah, okay. Okay. Now this baby was a person who was trying to fill his stomach, who was creating these dolls. And you know where he was selling it? Outside a church. And you know which place this is? It's called Oro Preto. Oro what is Oro Preto? Preto? Well, Oro Preto is black gold. Oh, black gold. Black gold. There are only 276 churches there. Wow because they wanted to build church to bury the black gold. Okay. And this oh. is the first time I landed in Rio de Janeiro oh. in 2010 in Brazil. Oh. And from Brazil we had to go about 10 hours and we landed in Oro Preto. That's a place I love to go. And this was in 2010 and I loved the Amazon. So I was hoping they'll call me again and they did. You went to Amazon? Yes. In 2016. Wow. Wasn't it scary, ma'am? You know what? I just realized that I've been only tra traveling to places to tell a story, mm -hmm. to do all this. You know, there was a huge mountain, and then there was a little bird that came and sat on the shoulder, mm -hmm. and that golden cranes, mm -hmm. and all that. And everyone would say, wow, boy, the bear, boy, Linda. And I used to feel a high. Mm -hmm. And I said, people, they love my story. I am a great storyteller. But I, I realized that nature has more stories to tell you. Yes. Yes. And I have this kind of command that they say. And I said, why should I only travel, only for storytelling festivals, for conferences, and, and, and you know, to gain some popularity, put it on the Facebook. I said, let me travel for my own self. Now, Brazil is really far, huh? Yes. Of course, every time I travel abroad, there's a story. Now, that's a different story about passports and visas and Schengen visa and no Schengen visa and rules changing and saying, no ma'am, you can't travel like this. Hey, can I travel, please? Okay, so there are a lot of boxes getting lost, mm -hmm. I getting stranded, getting a hotel somewhere, a lot of things. But then this time, also, there was a lot of drama. Finally, in 2016, I land in Amazon, not Amazon, mm -hmm. in Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a city. City run. Mm -hmm. Boring. Oh, boring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quite boring. Okay. okay. But I went for this festival. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I thanked uh, Regina for inviting me. Now I had a plan. Thank God there was no corona. There was no virus there. <laughs> and I had already first time and booked Airbnb. I can do it. Mm -hmm. A woman traveling alone itself was a great thing for me. And being able to go book my own self was another great thing. So I booked and I said I'm going to Peru, 
I go to Machu Picchu. Because wow. in my history lesson, I always, you know, heard about Machu Picchu. So there I go. I finish the festival, go to Peru, go to Machu Picchu. From Machu Picchu, take another flight, go to a place called Porto Moldenado. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to go to the Amazon. I'm so lucky because now it's burning. You know, sometimes I feel we should travel when we think yeah. about it. Life we is shouldn't think otherwise. Yes, Life yes, is a voyage, voyage. isn't it? Yes. And any, any travel is destined. So I said, yes, I am going. And there I landed. And they picked me up. Three hours by boat. <laughs> On the river. This river was called Rios. And it's a huge river, okay? Everything was perfect. We landed in an island. And there were just about seven cottages. Surrounded by water on all sides. No electricity. No. And no power. Evening we land. Scary. <laughs> yeah. And then there is excitement. There is adventure. Right? Yeah. And what is in store for you? And there's silence. Because there's also fear, isn't it? Yes. And then that man, very nice person, took me, gave, me, gave us a lot of things. We were about eight of us. Each one a cottage, and the cottage they got was called Anaconda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no imaginations. These are all true. So mm -hmm. I went inside Anaconda, settled myself. And then I had a knock. And there was Richard, who was our guide, who was everything. And he said, Let's go out! Let's go on the river! Pitch, da! He had a lantern in his hand. Just a gaslight. Mm -hmm. And he said, follow me, please. And we all followed, seven of us. Hard we go, hard we go, blah, 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 okay? <laughs> and we, the stomach is doing, blah, 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 and And we can't tell that outside. There was a Malaysian, there was a Japanese, there were two people, old couple from Denmark. Lovely. We just said hello to each other because we just met each other. And then we get into that boat. I sat at the edge and the other six and he started the boat. Loudest sound what we ever think of. Pitch dark in the middle of the river. Nothing, no lights. And then in the middle of the river, drop the closed, he switched it off. And suddenly there was a silence. An eerie silence. A silence which had awe, wonder, everything, you know. And he said, Look up. And we looked up. And this beautiful canopy of stars. Multitudes, millions. And I said, I must rephrase. Universe is not made of atoms but stars. Oh, you know, yes. the stars were shining. I thought each star carried a story. I saw my ancestors in them. I saw everybody in them. I said, if God is not here, where else would he be? And then he said, Can you see the reflection in the water? I said, What? Reflection of the stars in the water. What are you saying, Richard? And everyone said, ah, he's just falling, you know. I said, no, 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 just look around that corner. <laughs> As I looked, I said, yes, there were stars. But the stars were fixed. Mm. They were not twinkling. twinkling, you know. And then I said, mm -hmm. what are those? Mm. Because they were so shiny, <laughs> bright. And he said, they are the... Uh, Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I caught his hand and he said, oh, you don't have to be scared. I wouldn't bring you here. They're not tamed, they're wild. They're not really crocodiles. They're a family of crocodiles called caimans. And they're not so harmful. Don't worry. They're all sleeping. And they're not going to bother you, but Sleep, still. Sleeping with eyes, eyes open, 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 mouth open. <laughs> And I could only see those eyes. glittering, <laughs> glittering eyes, not glittering like fixed things. And then after a while, but he spoke to each other. And he, he asked only one question: Can we return? <laughs> of and course. we all said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we returned mm -hmm. to the show. I was reminded of the story because I always remind, I'm always reminded of the story when I look at an object. Right? Mm -hmm. But I said no. I'm here to spend my time with myself, not to keep occupied in my thoughts. 
and let's move in from stories for a while. And if this was not story, what is? Went in no power, went to sleep, pinched myself. It was not a dream because these are real stories, you know. And of course, I don't have an object to carry back from there. But I did carry back a story. Yeah. But I, I think I can go on and on. So as I told you, everything has a story. Every voyage is a story. Everything like King Midas when he touched, turned into gold. I think that's what storytelling is all about, isn't it? Ma'am, this reminds me of my voyage. Ah. This reminds me of a story okay. that happened to me. Okay. And Let me uh, I'm going to share that with you. Okay. This was in the mid of uh, January 2017. Uh -huh. And we were living in uh, London, UK uh -huh. for a while. And uh, we were all very happy that we were returning back to India for good. We were happy that, yes, I'm going to join my mom back home. It's, it was a new home. And we were all excited. Children did not like the cold weather there. And they were happy that they could play outdoors back in India. So we went out for shopping uh, on one of the evenings for uh, the Indian shopping whatever we do to give gifts to people and the last round of shopping was going on and I returned back home with children after shopping in a bus okay. and uh, after I come back I realized that my wallet is gone oh my god and I could realize this only late in the evening when the doorbell rang to deliver a pizza and I had no money to give <laughs> the wallet was missing and then luckily I gave money from my husband's wallet but this wallet of mine had the BRP cards and the visas. These were very important for any citizen to return back to India. So how do we come back? That was the question. We were all in tears, we howled, we cried, trying to look out, pulled out our suitcases, pulled out everything possible to find out the uh, BRP cards and the wallet. Then I just went back, reminded myself, where, did, where could I have dropped this wallet? Was it in a shopping mall? Was it on the way? Or where else? Mm. Then I realized I was playing with my children in the bus. Mm. Uh, when I was playing with my children in the bus, this wallet was dropped off. And I did not realize that. Then the thing that flashed to us was, let's go to the depot, bus depot, which was mm. close by to the house. Mm. So when we went to the bus depot and checked with them, they said, no, that bus does not report to that particular depot and we need to go far ahead. So they gave me the number of that particular depot. Mm -hmm. So this was around 9 o'clock in the night mm -hmm. and the next day morning 7.30 we have to leave home yes. and around 11 o'clock is our flight back to India. What do we do? Oof. It's all uh, shivering, you're all yeah. shivering. Then I called up to the depot and I, I checked with them if there was any lost and found wallet which had this BRP cards. And he says, no, the bus would come to the depot only around 3.34 in the morning. Until then, I would not get an update or status. We called back India, we called back mom, we told her all this is happening. So don't quite be prepared uh, that we will come back the very next day. So be prepared for it. Then uh, we just went off to sleep and uh, around 6 o'clock my mobile rings. Ooh. We were tensed. Is it from the depot? Is it someone else who found the wallet? Yeah. And then this person said, Hey, look, your wallet has been found. Wow. And you have your BRP mm. cards in there. Wow. So lucky. Yeah. <laughs> you, should, wow. you should just feel that. Uh, then we just woke up, ran to the depot, picked up our... Uh, must have been so happy. Then, yeah. Yes. Would have the, jumped with joy, yeah. I guess. Yes, we were all excited and happy. The boys were all set to come back to India. When we went up and picked up the wallet, of course, the money were in, uh, in it was missing, but the VRP cards are much more worth than the money. So wow. we came back happy to India. But out of curiosity, when we reached the airport, I did ask the authority there, mm -hmm. what would you do without these BRP cards mm -hmm. had I lost them? Mm -hmm. And he says, we would have detained you. <laughs> then I was like, what? <laughs> then he asked me, uh, why, what happened? Then I narrated the entire story. story. He said, not everyone are lucky like you. Yeah. Yeah. So we were back to India in all smiles. Whoa. <laughs> I agree with you. Actually, not everyone is lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I was not lucky enough. <laughs> so, ma'am, I also have a story. Can I share yeah, my story? Yes. Okay. So, 
this was in 2003 when I had my son and my husband was working in Malaysia so we went and stayed and my parents also accompanied me. So in Malaysia you are supposed to close the door, uh, there is no door, there is this railing which you have to lock it mm. but we were not aware of it now. So my parents would always be you know up. Uh, during the day also they would be busy yeah. awake, you know? but once it happened that Appa Amma they were sleeping mm. and I my baby was small he was three months old so I was sleeping with him in the bedroom I say oh. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> then after some time my husband was in office so after some time I heard some someone you know some some sound like, you know where you open a drawer and try to you know uh, find something mm -hmm. I suddenly got up I thought maybe my husband has come back home and there I see this man wearing a helmet, oh, a stranger and I got so scared and I just you know screamed and said who are you, who are you and this guy he just you know jumped here and there like a deer and went off oh. and there was another guy who was waiting hmm. wearing a helmet and he was ready with the bike and they'd start the bike ah. and both of them zoomed, that's she it. Was she God. was down the spine. And my parents didn't know anything, they were in deep sleep. Oh. Then I, the first thing that occurred to me was what about my handbag because all our yeah. passports were there inside the handbag. So I went inside I the, the dining table, I searched the dining table and my handbag was not there. Oh my! I immediately called my husband because I knew that I had kept the handbag on the dining table. Right. I called him and I said this is what happened and I started crying because like I did not know what to do. I was feeling helpless. My husband said okay don't worry, I'll come. Just you know be relaxed. He came and when he was entering the house, he was singing a song like, you know, he was very like, now it is gone. Now, you know, Bindas. why do you worry? So Bindas. he said, yeah, Bindas. he came and said, okay, let us first drink tea or something. Uh, just chill. Uh, okay, now tell what happened. Uh, then I told him the entire story. So he said, you know, you are lucky that they didn't harm you. Yeah. I was also at that point when he told me, I realized that I was lucky that he didn't took the, take the baby in his hand yeah. and maybe try to threaten me or something. Yes. Right. So this then, Malaysia, Malaysia yes ma'am. Yeah. So then we uh, Kuala Lumpur. So oh. then we all went to the police station. Now the problem is there they don't understand any language other than Malay. Oh. He didn't know Malay. My husband knew some words, but not he was not very uh, you know fluent in talking. So he called one of his office employees. She is she was an HR. She she was a Tamilian, but she lived in Malaysia for a long time. So she knew Malay. We went to the police station and there. We narrated in English and she translated that into Malay. Wow. I mean, you know, and then we came back home and then um, anyways, uh, the police officers, they wrote a report, but we could not find the passports. So but then we had to go to the embassy and they said we have to leave the country. Oh. So they issued the emergency certificate and we got the emergency certificate and we came back home. So. Though we lost our passports, after coming to India, I made another passport. Oh. But I was relieved that at least we are back to our country, country. our oh. homeland. Did you go back to Malaysia again? No, no, no. <laughs> but then the learning lesson is next time when I go to Malaysia, I'm going to take real good care of my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all is well that all ends well. All is well that and uh, you know, the best part is we were all uh, fine. I mean, nothing yeah, happened to us. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, that's so great. Yeah. I uh, so I think we, we, let's let's tell one small story. Do you want to listen to just a small yes, story? Yes, of real, course, uh, the, Actually, the real is not real. Yeah. What we shared is actually real. real yes. yes. Okay. So you know, uh, I I just thought every time when you said about airports mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. losing and things. Mm -hmm. A lot of us uh, think of tricksters, isn't it? But yes. I, I just remind. I was just reminded when that person with a helmet. Yes. You know, like yeah. so. So many tricksters, and they do it so beautifully. Yes. You know, some of them are helpful, but some of them are not. It's an art. It's an art. It's, it's an art. Yeah, exactly. It's an, art. it's an art to trick. And so uh, there is a Malaysia. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I know, I, I love that airport. Kuala Lumpur, I yes. think it's beautiful. So from Malaysia, there is a trickster and he's a mouse deer. Can you believe this? A mouse, mouse deer. deer. If you want to know how he looks like, you just have to go to Google. Okay. Now that it's available, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like a deer with a mouse thing and a little creature, but uh -huh. full of tricks. Okay, oh. and he's a trickster. Mm -hmm. So he comes along a river mm -hmm. and, and, and along this river, there is a, 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 you know, a, a crocodile. And this crocodile is very hungry. Right, and he comes out and he hears mouse deer singing a song, 
and the, the mouse here is singing. Uh, what do you think is the longest word in the English language? Because you know Malaysia, they all love to learn English. So, what's the, what's the longest word? What's the longest word? What's the longest word? And then uh, the crocodile says, hey, I came to eat you now. And you're asking me a little, no, I'm not asking you. I'm just telling you, I know I, I'm always, you know, wondering which is the, which is the longest word, right? Yeah. So, uh, do you know any word? Yeah. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Huh? Wow. Is that the longest word? <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. Oh my God. Then what is the longest word? Well, says the mouse here. You're going to eat me up anyway, right? You want to have a piece? I'm quite well built. <laughs> so you're going to eat me up. No, no, but I, I, I have to find the answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't you call all your relatives, your, your aunts? You can have a party. Wow. Yeah, okay. party. Yeah, why do you want to have me alone? Yeah, have a party. Okay, so something right. was cooking up so in his cooking mind. His mind because mm. he also had to cross that river. Ah. Now he had to go to the other side. Now he's a trickster, right? Yeah. And so this dumb crocodile says, Ah, I can help you cross the river. I'll call everyone. Of course, we can have a feast. <laughs> now let me think which is that longest word, okay? Keep thinking. <laughs> can you get your relatives and all the aunts and the uncles and everyone? <laughs> they come. says, Everyone form a line. We need to have the mouse deer. We need to have some country to cross. They all make a line until the end of the river. river. And our great Baya, his name is. And he says, I want to go first. So he goes right. Because he's a leader, no? He has an ego. So everyone follow him and they all make a line. And now some culture is already hey one two three one two three la 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 super calibrated stick it's behind the door she's I'm the I'm the lay I'm the lay but it's not the longest word it's not the longest word then is it Constantinople no wait that's also not the correct answer not the correct answer he reaches the end of the river smart very smart and then he says okay I give you one last chance. And the crocodile says, ah, oh, we're all hungry now. So just think about it, close your eyes, and let me go up uh, into that forest, and I'll give you the answer, okay? I'll give you exactly five minutes, okay? The crocodile says, oh, come on, fast now. So he goes, running, there's no sign of him, and they only hear his sound coming from a distance. Did you get the answer? <laughs> <laughs> And the crocodile says, oh, it must be Constantinople. No! <laughs> it is smiles. What? It smiles because there's a mile between the two S. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so smart. And he was so smart. And this happened in Malaysia. Ah. <laughs> Look at the connection. So you see the association. Yeah. And that's what stories do, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. You know, it's nice True. when you connect. When you, yeah. when you, when you, uh, that's what we call as associated thought also. also. Yes. And so I think it's wonderful. I think all of the world, people who are listening to our stories, mm -hmm. should immediately think of other stories of yeah. their travel to. Yeah, just like we shared. Yes. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yes, so thank you, uh, Padma. And thank, thank you, you Mom. It was wonderful. And let's wish everyone a happy, happy world, world storytelling day. day. And go out and tell your story. Yeah.